What's up guys and welcome back to Minecraft PlayStation 4 Edition and today we have a lot of stuff to go over. It's actually a quite a busy episode. So first off, I did make a lot of progress with our split mining entourage kind of thing that we got going on here. And I'll be showing you guys the loot in just a second. But for now, let's look at the progress I made. The last time, oh gosh. Oh gosh, we got zombies and stuff. We got a creeper in there with our sheep. <laughs> I noticed you, buddy. I'll leave you in there for now just because I don't want any bad things to happen. Um, is this guy gonna attack me? Uh, he's not, good, good, good. So I've made a lot of progress. It might not look like it at first glance, but the last time I showed you guys, we finally got all the way to the very bottom. And now, block by block, I've basically just made an elevator, sort of kind of going up and s split mining every single layer. So you can see there's a split mine, here's a split mine, here's a split mine, and some of these go out super duper far. And why I did this is sometimes you'll run into lava on this level, but you won't run into lava on that level. And then you'll run into lava on this level, but not over there either. So I've been able to spread out and get so many different materials. Unfortunately, I have yet to find what I've been looking for. And as you guys know, that is a dungeon. As soon as we find a dungeon, we will get to recording it and hopefully we'll find a saddle, which is the whole point of all of this. This is probably about like 10 hours worth of work, I'd say. Maybe a little, maybe like five hours, I don't know. But while doing this, I actually signed on earlier today. I think it was a glitch that I finally got it. I wish I could have gotten it on camera, but we did get the passing the time trophy. Now, if you don't know what that trophy is, basically playing Minecraft for 100 days in game, the in game Minecraft days, if you do that for 100 days, you will get yourself the wonderful. Uh, passing the time trophy. So there's one trophy down, but today I've actually gotten all of the loot out of here. This is just some spare stuff, some stuff I didn't really need, so I threw in the chest. Sometimes it's helpful to have extra materials down here so I don't have to go up for wood, or I don't have to go up for torches, that kind of stuff. So with that being said, we're gonna go up and then we're gonna show you all of the wonderful loot we have actually gotten from all of this. All right, are you guys ready? One, two, three, open! Whoa, so as you can see, we have now over a stack of golden ingots. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight full stacks of iron ingots, and then almost a seventh, or a ninth here. Uh, and then we, I haven't gotten any more emeralds, but I have over a stack of diamonds. The last time, before I started this whole digging to the center and split mining project, I had about 15 to 16 diamonds. I now have over a stack. And every time I've made a new diamond pickaxe, I have gotten more than three diamonds out of it. And that's mostly been because of this little guy right here, the Fortune 2 diamond pickaxe. And as you can see, we have level 38. I have spent over some levels over time. I have died once or twice just sort of falling down the pit by accident. <laughs> but overall, 38 levels, and we're gonna be using that for a special cause today because we're going to be borrowing two of these diamonds. We're gonna be making ourselves a diamond sword, and as some comments have suggested, a better and much more useful way on how to make that um, hard hitter achievement get finished. Now, if you guys don't know, we've been stuck on an achievement, I forget what it's called, but basically we have to deal nine hearts of damage in a single hit, and that's pretty hard to do without a really darn good sword and a really good enchantment, and of course, enchantments are all about luck. So you guys have suggested that I make a potion of strength. So we're gonna do both of those things. We're going to enchant the diamond sword I just made, and then we're going to uh, you know, use a potion of strength and then hit a cow and see how that works. And this is something suggested by you guys, so thank you so much for your suggestions. But let's throw this guy into the pile, and I'm gonna try to go for a level 25 enchantment. So let's see if we can't get lucky here. All right, so I added some extra shelves here, and it seems like we're getting higher numbers. So far I see a 26. And that's a constant number, so if we can't get something a little higher, like a 27 or maybe even a 28, that would be awesome, and that's what I'll try here for the next few moments. Haha, -ha, there we go, okay. Let's go for it. Upgrade level 27, we've never upgraded something this high before. Let's go! And it is... Bane of Arthropods 4 and Fire Aspect 2. So now we're really gonna be hitting spiders hard, but I don't know if that's really going to help. Um. <laughs> Let's hope it does. I really, really do hope it does. But with that, we're also gonna make ourselves a strength potion. So let's go over to our brewing stand over here. And firstly, we need to combine a water bottle with another wart. And this should make an awkward potion, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> That's pretty awkward for me not to know, but hey, it will most likely end in that. Let's find out here. And while we're waiting, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for waiting between these episodes. Um, I know it's been a while, but that mining stuff takes a lot of work and it's one of the biggest things I wanna get done with the series right now. 
is getting that done. So now we have the awkward potion. So now we're just simply going to add a blaze powder and we'll see how this works. Now, luckily, if we do really mess this up, we do have one extra blaze rod, but I don't know if we'll need it. I don't know. Maybe we should wait until nighttime and try to take out a spider just to make our chances a little higher. But I don't know. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. But I'm pretty sure this will work. Potion of Strength when applied plus 130% attack damage. Now add that on top of the fact that we're gonna be fighting spiders, and I really hope that's nine hearts worth of damage. It is starting to become nighttime, so now we just have to wait it out a little bit longer, so let's go ahead and wait around. So my strategy right now is I'm gonna wait around for monsters to start popping up. And once they do, once I spot a spider, I'm gonna go to sleep because if you guys don't know, during the day, spiders don't die, they become peaceful in the way that they won't attack you unless you attack it first. So that'll be my goal. We're gonna wait until we see a spider, go into night or sleep until daytime and then go and attack it. That way we eliminate any other risk. The strength potion does have three minutes to it, so I think we'll be fine irregardless, but Let's just wait it out. Where are these darn enemies? Nothing's popping, there's a zombie over there. And if I can just find one measly spider, that's all we need. Uh, here's spider, spider. Where are you, spider, spider? I'm looking for you. Hello. I don't see him anywhere. Aha, I found one. Okay then, so we're gonna go down the stairs, Um, go over here, take a little nap a -roo. I see a zombie over there. These guys are all gonna burn up during the day. So that's not what I'm worried about here. Give it a second, slip out here. Those guys are gonna start burning. So now if we come over here, if that, spy, that spider is still around, this guy is still gonna attack me with his last moments here, but I'm not gonna bother about that. I'm gonna drink this potion. I'm gonna come over here and then boom, wait, boom. What, what, get out of here, buddy. I don't know if that did, it did it, overkill. Nine hearts of damage in one measly shot. Wow, that was awesome, let's do a bonus, boom. <laughs> Whoa, it even burned him. Oh, is that what our other, Fire aspect, it burns them. That is crazy. So there is one more achievement done for the books. Not only that, but like I said, we did the passing the time achievement AFK away from, I guess, camera, AFC. <laughs> so with that being said, there are two achievements done and that instantly gives me me too. That's actually a quick, quick little process there. I think I'll be using this a lot more then. That is fantastic. I might actually go over and take care of some of our livestock right, livestock right now then. All right, we have about a minute left of the strength potion. I'm going to make everybody breed. I guess the strength potion doesn't matter too much now because I mean, this will still cook them up. But we're gonna have some baby cows popping up here. And once the baby cows are done popping up, we're just gonna take care of one and then two, just for some easy food here, really. That's the main purpose of what I'm doing. Okay, nobody get out of there now. And we still have about a minute left, so we're still good on timing here. Um, I love how that sheep is just chilling in there. But for now, we're gonna slip into here. Excuse me, sir. Now, these guys won't give us anything when it comes to food. I think uh, in this update, they still don't give you any mutton drops or nothing. But hey, they'll spit out some babies. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. We'll run out and see what other things we can take out, uh, you know, out here in the wild. Hopefully, we can find some more pigs and stuff. So that'll be cool. But either way, wow. I'm glad that worked. Thank you to everybody who suggested that we take a strength potion. There was only like one or two of you, so thank you to both of you. Very, very awesome tip. I'm glad that that worked out, but for now, there are achievements done. That's just so awesome. We're slowly but surely making progress. I really want to find myself that, um, what's it called? I really want to find myself that beautiful, uh, dungeon sometime soon. I really hope we do. Some of our mine shafts in this little hole here go super far out. For example, um, they go out farther than the map. Like, we can see if we went this way, it would go farther than that does. Like, I think this area right here that my reticle's on is about negative 700 on the Z factor. It goes out to negative 1148. So that's how far out it goes. So we could actually make a second split mining base at the end of that one if we wanted to. And that's how crazy it is, so. Those are all things I'm considering and thinking about, but for now, it's just like, there's so much open to us. After that, we need to go to the nether, and there's a lot of crazy cool stuff, a lot of stuff to do our to-do list. It does start start to slowly shrink though, which is good. We do have to go to this guy right here, the big old nether. I like how we had two nether portals, <laughs> how that just sort of simply happened. Okay, but I think that's just about it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode of Minecraft, the PlayStation 4 edition. If you have, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. What do you think about some of the crazy things we have done in today's episode? And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.